Hello my dear students, welcome to your very own faculty driven institute result in. Hope you guys are fine. So guys, today I'll be telling you the top 5 softwares which are very very required and essential for civil engineers. So why to wait? Let's start the session quickly and uh, before that guys, if you are new and if you haven't subscribed to our channel, kindly do so. Like it and share it with maximum of your friends. Apart from that, if you don't know about me, you can go through my profile. And now we'll be starting with the top 5 civil engineer softwares for civil engineers. So number 1 is AutoCAD, then Bentley, then Pro, Ravid and Etaps. The AutoCAD is the very basic software. Like if you have just completed first year of your college or if you have uh, uh, persuaded a civil engineering branch, then of course the basic first, you can say the basic software which you learn will be AutoCAD. And if I talk about that, uh, in the house, so whatever the map layouts which you make of your homes, that is made with this basic software of AutoCAD. Okay, and uh, basically it's like uh, if I talk it about, even if you have just completed first year of your college, the interface is so easy. You don't have to bother about it. So here the interface is very easy, smooth connections will be there. And uh, basically this, if you talk about the layout and mapping parts or the mapping parts, then AutoCAD will be good. Okay, next coming further is you are uh, talking about it. What are the strengths and weaknesses of AutoCADs? So here you can be going for, uh, you can do automations in that. Parametric objects, you can construct it. 3D visualization. Up to a certain limit, you can do it. Like, yeah, you'll be getting, you will be checking out the elevation as well. And the integration is also smooth. The interface is also smooth. Talking about the weakness, uh, see, actually what happens is, uh, if you are like studying in college or in any institute, so uh, we, this leads in license. This is a license software. Yeah, you can download the crack version, but purchasing it is like a costly one. So that is one of the thing. And uh, something important is like if you want to study Ravit or any like 3D Max and also it becomes very, very necessary that first you should have the knowledge of AutoCAD. Okay, next talking about is Bentley MicroStation. This you call it as BIM. This is a BIM that is building information modeling. Now it has basically what it is also, it is having a combinations of you can do modeling and then uh, you can uh, have like uh, a 3D modeling in this and uh, you can plan the things, evaluate the projects and all. So basically it is also uh, one of the good softwares which are, you can use it that is Bentley MicroStation. Talking about next about it, your 3D modeling you can do, land development you can do. Then apart from that you can, uh, uh, if you talk about it, see here you can do the interoperability. Okay, now here if I talk about here you can uh, like if you have AutoCADs and all. So here also you can do data sharing uh, basically with Autodesk products like uh, whatever data, whatever modeling you have done, you can share it easily with the products like AutoCAD, Ravit uh, and all other uh, Autodesk products. Okay, so this is one of the thing. Bentley MicroStation is a good one. I've heard of it, but I haven't, uh, if you'll ask me that I don't know the softwares. I know AutoCAD, I know Ravit, 3D Max, ETAP, SAP, Stat Pro. So these are the ones which we have studied. See, if the moment you start to study AutoCAD, now, what I feel, uh, other softwares becomes very, very easy to understand. Then it will be like not that much difficult for you to learn. Okay, talking about next year, uh, performance issue can be there. See, actually, whenever you make, that's the fact. Whenever you are making complicated models, the processing of it becomes, the processing of it will take time and there will be lag issue. Okay, so that is for sure. It will happen. 3D modeling, whenever you are doing it, lag issue will be there at many times. Okay, now talking about next is Stat Pro. Uh, if you go like in seventh and eighth standard, from uh, some people started from first year or some people started from second year. First, they learn the basic software AutoCAD. Next, in your sixth semester when it ends, then you are about to word, uh, watch to go on the seventh semester, then you learn Stat Pro. This is again a powerful software which is used in civil engineering. And uh, is it, it is what here also you can like, uh, here you can do the modeling very, I can say smooth processes there. And uh, it will like, uh, if the structure is failing each and everything, it will let you know. Okay, talking about here, hit 
as i told you it fits with local codes then dynamic analysis also you can do like uh, if you want to make a earthquake resistance building so the effect of earthquake wind and other fair forces all the options will be given to you so you can create the designs by yourselves you can like uh, providing reinforcement each and everything providing dia of what dia of providing uh, reinforcement of what dia each and everything you can design okay and here what will be uh, happening is you can visualize the structure in a more prominent manner okay so that is the strength of it talking weakness about it is yeah non linear analysis it's limited you can do it up to a certain extent talking about next is uh, stat pro as i told you best but actually if you want to design the whole structure let us suppose i want to make a building of g plus 25 g plus 50 story building then actually for complete analysis stat pro alone will not be sufficient next if i talk about ravit this is one of the best software like uh, you might have seen uh, uh, you can say like any society is getting developed or any <clears throat> builder is like making the flats and he's selling he's selling it so you will see that uh, they will be like firstly they'll show you the model of it then eventually if you check it out in as you go inside the home you can see the sofas are there the ceilings are there so that is the modeling which they have done that is done by this ravit okay rabbit and 3d max are there so basically here you can be like a 3d combination will be there you can you can even select the floor which you have to use the small ceiling material which you have to use each and everything 3d orientation can be done so if you analyze analyze it if you would have seen this like whenever a new society new builder is constructing uh, in a patch of land or multiple number of uh, flats or row houses then it, it is shown na like uh, in a modeling form that how you enter what are the things will be there you have kept dining table this and all all that you can do it in the rabbit okay next coming uh, talking about is as i told you sustainability is there you will be even each and everything basically what will be the fall ceiling what will be the flooring each and everything you can check it out talking about the weakness about it that uh, here uh, obviously ravit is object centric system if you want to model roads bridges and other uh, linear structures then it will be somehow not that much uh, efficient as compared to that of the uh, building stones okay now talking about the one etabs etabs is an very good software trust me guys like if i talk about me i have done uh, my mtech structure so uh, the software which i used was etabs here if i talk it about this software is a reliable tool which you can see it in the uh, and basically here you can analyze your uh, low story building medium story building high story building you can analyze it ha huh. at uh, talking about the weakness of it it will take time it will take time for uh, you can say it will take time for uh, rendering purposes okay if you make a like g plus 50 story building of course it will take you 2 to 3 hours for uh, rendering purpose and then after that uh, it tells you the considerable points where the failure and all will occur so this is one of the good softwares you can like i think that the interface is also very easy like if you will ask my opinion because i have done my whole mtech uh, project in etabs only so i find it very very easy breezy the functioning is very smooth even i like it much more as compared to that of stat pro sap is also good etabs and sap if you are thinking of uh, like your college might be having the license you can get the version of it so if i talk about etabs and sap they are more or less i don't find uh, uh, like vast difference in the user interface they are good and but uh, firstly if you are planning to start uh, for uh, learning softwares and if you are like in the beginning of civil engineering right now then i'll say you that purchase uh, for purchase something learn autocad first after that uh, bentley if you want you can learn like i haven't learned it means i haven't studied it only i'll tell you i just heard the name of it as i told you autocad ravit 3d max stat pro and then uh, i have uh, this one etabs and sap i love you i know some parts but not exactly means i can like i know 30 40% of lab view that is again one software of civil engineering but not the 100% so if you learn this software is building designing modeling of it becomes easier and yeah so if you are thinking like you uh, will be going to the construction phase later having your own uh, you can say a consultancy company and all then it's good to learn softwares or if even if you want to work under somebody 
okay so these are the softwares which you need to know and let's meet in the next lecture and do comment and tell me what are the softwares which you know right now okay thank you everybody take care of yourself bye bye and study hard